Hello guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Navisworks. So in this one, we are going to learn how to export Revit model to Navisworks. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to open my architectural model here. So as you can see, this is a very familiar model. So if you don't have this, just make sure you install properly the Revit uh, software. And then just go to file, just go to open, let's go to the sample files. And then this sample file is RAC advanced sample project. Okay, so that's my project. So that all of you will be able to follow this exercise or Navisworks uh, uh, series of videos that I'm going to create. Okay, so after I create my architectural model, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert and link my MEP model. So I'm going to select the MEP. The positioning here, I'm going to select uh, by shared coordinates. So I select that one and then I select here open. All right, so it's now added here. So as you can see, there's my MEP model. So if I change the properties here to uh, mechanical or electrical or plumbing, so I will be able to see my MEP model properly inserted in my architectural model. Okay, so I also want to link here my structural model. So I select that one by shared coordinates. I select here open. And there you go. So again, I'm just going to change my discipline here. Let's say to structural discipline or coordination view. Apply. And then I can now see my structural model there. Okay, so let's say for example, I will now be doing the coordination using the Navisworks. Okay, so now we need to export this model first. Okay, so to do that, so make sure you have the add-ins installed in your... Um, uh, Revit. Okay, so if you go to add-ins here, so you can see their external tools. You can see Navisworks 2021 and Navisworks Switchback 2021 already installed. Okay, so this is the add-ins that you need to install. Okay, you just need to go to the website or to the Google and then just type there Navisworks 2021 exporter add-ins installer. Okay, so you just need to type that. If you do not have these add-ins, okay, so that's all right. Just go to the file and then just go to the export and then there you go. So you will now be able to export your Revit model to NWC file, which is the Navisworks cache file. Okay, just click that one. Okay, and then there's our dialog box. So in exporting your Revit model, so make sure before you export it, make sure that all the 3D model that you want to be exported to Navisworks is showing. Okay, is showing because if you use, let's say, for example, your section box is turned on. So let me just turn on my section box. I click reveal hidden elements to show the section box. Click that and hide that. Okay, and then cl uh, close it. So, if, let's say, for example, you didn't notice that you crop your, your model like this. Or let's say you, let's say, uh, you, selected, you selected that area and then you use a selection box. Okay, so that's the model. Okay, if this is the only 3D model that is showing in your view, this is the only model that will going to be exported to your uh, Navisworks. So make sure the 3D model that you want to export to Navisworks, make sure it's all showing. Okay, so that's why I'm just going to uncheck the section box there or just turn off the, the cropping tools in your view so that it will show all the 3d model okay so after that so you can now go to the file you can now go to export you can now go to nwc again if you had the uh, if you have the add-ins just go to add-ins external tools navisworks 2021 okay if you are using revit 2021 so if you're using revit 2022 so you will see there Navisworks 2022. All right. So let's say, for example, I don't have that add-in. So I'll just go to File, Export, 
uh, NWC, just click that. And then on the dialog box, you might want to check first the Navisworks settings here. Just click that one. And then you can check here. So let's say in my case, I use uh, coordinates. I use share there. Some project, I use project internal. But for this particular project, I use shared uh, coordinates. And then what else? Uh, you can also convert the link files if you want. You can just check that one. Okay. And that's it. I'll just use these um, current settings. And then I'll just select your OK. And then after that, of course, you just need to specify the name. So as you can see, I already exported it before. But for the sake of this exercise, let me just show you. I'll create a new folder for this uh, sample export. Oops. Enter, enter. OK, so I'll just put there, let's say, coordination. OK. And then the uh, file type will gonna be NWC. And then after that, just select here, OK. And there you go. So your export is now starting. OK, so depending on the size of your Revit model, if the model is just small model, the file size is just small, so it will not take long. But of course, if the file is very big, it will take a lot of time, OK? So as you can see, it's now exporting. And there you go. That's it. So your Revit model is now exported to NWC file. Okay, so let's check this out. So I'm going to close this one. So I'm not going to save this. I already export that. So I'll, close, I'll, do, uh, I'll go to my Navisworks 2022. I'm using 2022 now, but... For Revit, they haven't re uh, released the Revit 2022 as of this time, which is uh, today is March 28, 2021. The Navisworks 2022 is already released, but the Revit 2022 is not yet. Anyway, so there's my Navisworks 2022. And then let me just show you that model. So I'm going to open the model that I have exported. And I go to sample export. And then make sure this is NWC. Otherwise, it will not show here because it's set to NWF. So you just select NWC cache file. There you go. And then just select open. And that's it. There's now our model ready for coordination. Okay? Right? So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.